Hey, what's up guys? I finally got my SAG case for my Motorola Racer Plus 2023 version. As you can see right here, this is my latest uh, Motorola Racer Plus. This is actually the magenta color. It had the black one, um, but it does kind of have a little bit of distortion on the external speaker. It sounds a little bit muffled and a little bit low when you're watching um, YouTube videos of people, you know, talking. And yeah, so that's my main concern with my first Motorola Racer. Plus I returned it and got this one and I got a different color, which is the magenta color. The other one was black, but anyway, so I got the, I got to order the, the SAG case for it from actually was posted on the Motorola Reds website and it had a link to actually buy the the Motorola Racer Plus case directly from the SAG corporate and I ordered it I didn't think I was gonna get it because they were actually all sold out every time I would check it was sold out but actually at one point I clicked order and bought it and it went through so and it actually came, it took maybe like two weeks to receive it, but um, I actually got it. As you can see right here, this is actually the case. Cost me about $50. And this is actually the Bridgetown, Bridgetown Black Edition, as you can see right here, for Motorola Racer Plus 2023. And this is actually the packaging of Genium. It's got a Genium logo in here in the back. It's Genium 330 product, so it's not counterfeit. Um, so this one is uh, actually, it's saying it's impact, you know, resistant to about 10 feet of height drop, as you can see right here. It's got a ultra slim design, and you could actually charge your phone wireless. wireless. So you could have the case on and you could actually um, charge it wirelessly. So it's actually made, official made Motorola product. As you can see right here, it's got a Motorola seal on it. So it's not a counterfeit case. Pretty basic casing, boxing. So let's open it up. And here's the price right here, $55. That's how much to pay for this case. Kind of expensive. Even though you can find some aftermarket cases on Amazon for like $18, but I don't know. All right, so this is pretty much the case. You don't get nothing else in here. Just empty box. Let's see what's in the packaging. Uh, all right, so this is my order number. Moto Online, they shipped it out first class. So that's pretty much it, nothing else. It says 330 protected. I don't know what they mean about this. I mean, the case kind of feels plastic. It's kind of plastic. I kind of don't like it already. <laughs> I don't think this is actually worth $55 as you can see right here Look how thin this little plastic is right here This is kind of like I don't know. I hope it don't break So let me see the hinge It's kind of weird case It's kind of weird case But anyways, let's let's put in the Motorola Racer Plus in here to see how it looks. I do love the magenta color to it, you know. So I'm gonna miss looking at my phone's magenta color. I do like the fact that the back of the Motorola is actually like a rubbish type texture compared to my previous Motorola Racer 2020 edition that actually is glassed in the back and already cracked. 
even with the case on. See, it's Motorola Racer 2020 edition. And I have my case on, this case, I dropped it and it's still cracked. So I'm not a fan of, you know, glass phones. You know, I do like the fact that Motorola actually changed the back to like a rubbish type back, but the front is glass. So you gotta make sure you don't drop it because if not, you will have issues. All right, so let's, let me put this guy in here. I don't know, but maybe you force it in there. Yep. I want to break it. So it was pretty easy. Just push it in there. And this is the case. How it looks. Let me close it. This is how the hinge will actually look. It's like a little, it's a little hole in there. Let me see if I can get the light in there. You can see it's like a little gap in there. You see it? It's a little gap. Like I said, this this part right here is it's rubber, but um, it does look like it protects the the screen. It has like a little thick layer. As you can see right here. Let me see. Uh, we we'll drop it. <laughs> My table is glass. I don't want to crack it, but it does feels pretty pretty good in your hand. I mean, it's like. It's not slippery whatsoever, you know, but um, it's worth to have it. I mean, like I said, you know, I dropped my old phone maybe like five times since I had it. And yes, I cracked the front screen. Don't work. The back glass is all cracked, but the phone still works. You know, I can't complain. But uh, yeah, this is actually the, the case. The sad case that I bought from Motorola, it took almost two weeks to get here. It cost me $55. I mean, it took a while for me to buy it. It's okay. I wish it had, you know, I wish this part right here would protect the size because, you know, you could drop it and then on the metal and get all scratched up. Like my old phone. See, like right here. Let me show you real quick. See my old phone. It fell a couple of times landing on the on the hinge as you can see right here but luckily the hinge is metal so it's pretty solid man I can't complain man it's pretty solid so there you have it man this is actually the unboxing and showing you how the sag case actually looks on the Motorola Racer um, plus edition like I said it's plastic it's a little bit sturdy the I don't like this part it doesn't cover the whole hinge so not too good of a design but you know it is what it is i just bought it to see how it turns out but um i purchased another one on amazon which is actually magenta you know color as well when i get that one i will do a review comparing the thickness of the sag case with the one i purchased amazon for like 18.99 so there you have it man this is my video of my sack case that finally received by mail didn't think i was going to receive it i know some people order their their cases and their credit was returned back to their credit cards because they did they, they actually ran out so there you have it my friend thanks for watching and see you on my next video